In this segment, I'll demonstrate the Invalid Pairs feature. To use this feature, we must be on the Define Input screen. As we have mentioned, there are three payment options, a credit card number, a gift card number, or an Amazon card number. While we want to test all three, we need to be certain that only valid combinations are generated in specific individual test cases. And so we use the Invalid Pairs option to define combinations that are not allowable. Therefore, if we've chosen the option in a given case to add credit card number, we cannot in that same case say that credit card number is not applicable. We would be contradicting ourselves. So that defines the first invalid pair. In addition, we could not combine the option payment option add credit card with a valid gift card number. Again, that would not be a legal combination. We cannot pair add credit card with an invalid gift card number either. Similarly, we cannot pair add credit card with either a valid Amazon card number or an invalid Amazon card number. We can view any invalid pairs that we have defined in this left area here. We can click on the invalid pairs arrow in order to reveal any that have been defined. We see here not only the ones we just walked through, but additional ones that define other pairs that are not allowable in a similar fashion. The only change option is to delete one and we mouse over it and click that minus sign there in order to delete a previously defined uh, invalid pair. HexaWise is a software test design tool. To sign up for free licenses, see http colon slash slash hexawise.com and for more instructional videos, see hexawise.tv.